Welcome to the channel. In this video, we are going to be taking a look at trams. This is a new form of transport that was added to the game with the 0.8.8.4 update, which was released into the beta test branch in Steam on the 12th of September, 2022. This video is going to consist of two parts. In the first part, I'm just going to set a very simple tram route up so that I can talk about the, the different types of buildings that are available. And then in the second part, what I want to do is set up maybe a couple of examples of which will show what you could do with trams and also and talk a little bit about some of the problems that I've already um, found while playing about with them. So let's just get started. And the first thing I want to do is just go through the menu and show you where everything is. And the first thing is, the, if you look on here, that all the tram related items are shown with this little yellow front cab of a tram. And what we've got in the road section is actually, well, I'll just draw them just to show you what they look like. And what we've got down here is we've got what you are more, we could say asphalt type road with, with the tram tracks running on the side of that. Now, one thing you need to be aware of is trams are different from the trolleybus system, although they do look very similar. And this is what could catch you out. But this is the trolleybus. And the, the real difference is, is that a trolleybus road has the overhead cables, but they don't actually have the rails in the track. Now, that may seem it, but it's something that could catch you out if you select the wrong one there. The other thing also related to the way that trams actually and the other thing that's worth paying attention is that when you lay a new road like this road the actual overhead um, cables are on the left hand side so if you what for some reason you want the cables going the other way oops no nope, what you do is you just go that way and if you see you build them this way and like the trolleybus routes, it's actually a two-phase um, building process. In fact, if I switch this off and just show you that as well, if we just put in here what you'll see. And then if we actually accept that, what you'll see is that the building the uh, road is actually a two-phase process, exactly the same as a trolleybus. First thing it does is lay the gravel, then it lays the asphalt. Then I think it comes along and does the extra electro um, components last now before we move on i just want to show you something else to do with lay laying the roads here is that i've already said that if you lay the road it appears on the left hand side but if but the game has a bit of in-game intelligence so if you run a road there if you i don't know if you guys can see it but you can see that at the moment it thinks that the overhead power cables are on the left hand side but if i actually build this um just turn that on what you will see is if we get click off that the game actually aligns the overhead uh, cables with whatever you've built before so if you've got a preference about which size you want to put your tram network and you're building a, a substantial network uh, consider that when you put down your first section of road now the next piece of road that you can get is very similar but this is actually I'll just let's show you the description it says tram track no access to pedestrians and cars and this is actually built with prefabs so you can see it's distinctly different like this and again it's a two-phase process and what this actually is is a roadbed that the trams can use but other vehicles can't but you can pedestrians across like that although i wouldn't probably wouldn't recommend it because if you see what it does is you break the road up into sections not that it makes that much difference now the other thing that's probably worth talking about is the fact that if you and this is probably more for the early game that there is now a new road type added as well which is prefab roads as well i was just going to turn that off again and just show you and you can if you see the construction there it's just made from gravel and prefabs and if i accept that and click on it what you'll see so if you're looking for a cheap road and probably so if you're looking for a cheap road probably in the early game this might be a, a possible option i don't think that would build it we'll just have to I'll just show you what that looks like now one thing you can't do though is upgrade if you try and upgrade a prefab road it won't 
it will tell you that it's not upgradable because it says infrastructure is in the way. So um, what you can do though is, I, I, actually I, I can't, I think you can upgrade a gravel road to either. You can upgrade a gravel road to that, but you can't upgrade to an asphalt road. And I think you can't put the actual tram network on, but I haven't tried this, but I think what you can do is upgrade an existing prefab road to a tram route. So that's something that you can bear in mind when you're planning your cities. Also, it's probably worth mentioning that the top speed for a panel road is 80 kilometers an hour, which is uh, equivalent to 110. And also that if you put tram tracks down, you actually reduce your road speed on your asphalt road to 80 kilometers an hour. So again, this means that when you're planning a city, you've got to be a bit careful where you're actually putting things. In fact, what you get, if you see here, the, the asphalt tram track and the prefab tram track actually have the same speed. And that also, so that's again, something that you want to pay and bear in mind. Now, the other thing that you can build, and we'll be looking a little bit more about this later on, is if I put that in there, what you can do is this is a, the ability to connect a, an existing tram network to trains. So that's a quick overview of all the roads that are available, including the new changes. If we move across here, there's also bridges if you wanted to put in elevated sections, but bear in mind that all your tram stations are actually on the ground. So bridges are for tram tracks are equivalent to bridges for ordinary roads. There's also a tunnel option, I think, isn't it? I'm not sure. I'm sure there's a tunnel option in here. Yeah, there it is. Sorry, guys. I clicked. I was still on rail. So there's a there's a road tunnel if you want to put it through a mound or something like that. Strangely enough, the speed through the tunnel is actually faster than the, the road speed. Uh, maybe that's just a, a quirk. Now moving now moving over, what you've got is a number of depots. And I suppose what we can do now is start putting together a room because we're going to need a depot to be able to build our thing. So now you've got a, a four vehicle depot and an eight vehicle depot, but I'm not exactly sure why you'd want an eight vehicle depot because if you've got uh, trams in your depot, you're not actually using it. <laughs> yeah, we're just going to put that down. And what we'll do is just run a a very short section of road out like that of course within the tram section that's there you can buy trams now what i've done is i've switched on all vehicles so at the moment there's only one tram available for dollars and this is all the trams that are available currently in the game i think this i think the oldest one is 1928 but um, and then we go, and they go right through, but you don't get the widest of ranges. But I'm pretty sure that the mod community will be plugging this very soon. So what we got now is a short section of track, and what we're going to do now is move along, put back onto roads, and the other thing that is in this section here, alongside the tram depots is the tram end station now this is quite important because this works as in the same way as an end station for a um, buses and this is what you can use for spacing out the timing on your trams in fact if you watch my video on the metro it works in roughly the same way as that and of course the other thing that we've got to put on as well and i'm just going to jump through to the end so i can talk about it now is the tram info because if we don't have power, you can't move your trams around. So what we've got now is power to the info. Well, it says it should be power. Um, let me just have a look. We've got power into the info station now. Now, one thing you've got to be a bit careful is that the tram stops are actually in the, in the bus stop section, not the bus platform section, whether it's large or big. And what I'm going to do is drop down a number of trams stops. This is a large one. We're just put in here and we're 
put down a couple of small ones like this and just curve it round like that pick it up like that and work Now, like metros, trams are effectively a one-way system. So we kind of put in a route like that. That will just get built. And I'll just buy a couple of trams. What should we buy? I'll just buy a few of these that I think are 72 kilometers an hour. It's not that much of a problem. Actually, we'll buy four of them. And to set the route up is exactly the same as a bus. We'll just come in here. Now I'm going to put the end station in first simply because it's just in the way it is. And then we'll hook around here. And then that will be back to there. And if we let the game run, you'll see the tram will go out. And it'll come into this end station. And what you can do is set the this interval between trams. And what I would suggest is use a fixed time. Now the next thing you got to do is because this tram will always run around this way and if, I sh if you follow the tram around you see the large station the tram pulls in and the well if we get right it for it to get round to the small station here you see the small stations the tram actually stops in the road here so that's so again this is another consideration that which is probably even more important than capacity in fact if we go back and look at tram stops this has got a large one's got a capacity of 250 passengers. The small one's got a capacity of 150 passengers. But I think probably your bigger consideration is whether the um, width of the road, because obviously if you've got a busy main road, which has got possibly, say, delivery trucks running on it, you're going to want to put these in because what will happen is that the tram will pull over and if any trucks caught behind it, it will pass anyway. Now, the other thing I want to just talk about very briefly is when you set these up, the routes up, be very aware of the directionality of the game. One thing I did do once was I actually put the end station on first and the tram actually carried on around the other way, despite the fact that I put these in. I don't know if it will actually work. We'll just give it another go just to see. <laughs> Put the end station in this is where i think it's the end station that can cause a a bit of instability in your route setups let's just see if it will do it and this is the one we're keeping an eye on this one here he's just come out of the depot oops they've just had a little bit of tussle you managed to overtake him and it's actually gone the right way around but it's something that you do need to bear in mind when you're actually planning tram routes and that is the basics of setting up, actually up a tram route. Key things is you need a depot, you need a power step, um, source for the roads, although it will spread across the city. So if you take a road out uh, like this, oops, thank you, game. This is a good example is that the power will not transfer over. So if you do something like that, that would, once it's finished, it will tell you there's no power. So what you've got to do is make sure that you've got a contiguous um, connection through, which is pretty obvious, but it's if you're building a tram network in a fairly complex city, uh, it's something that you do need to consider. So that covers the basics. Now, what I want to do over here is I'm going to set an end-to-end -end route up because there's a little bit of a quirk I found with respect to an end-to-end -end system. Now we're going to keep this completely self-contained so we're going to do roughly exactly the same as we did last time just put you in there we'll put the she put the connection in line this time and we we'll just use the then what i'm going to do is we're going to pick up a put in a a series of stations in uh, not tram depots but a couple more and I think three I do we'll just come in here and we're just going to kick this up here 
Oh, we also need the end station because the tram needs to turn round at this end. And of course, we also need to connect up the power. Now, like the Metro, the trams will not turn round at an end station. So again, we'll just, I'll just do that as a demo. So say, for example, you know a tram to go there. Actually, cancel that. And put it to go there, there, and come back again. And click this. What you'll see is the tram will go out. This is where it's going to prove me wrong and turn around and come back the other way. Now, of course, the routes themselves are always right hand drive. And what you should do is come in here and that's it. Then you get stuck. Now, what you can. Now, the obvious solution is to do this. Like that. And once it's finished, the you find the tram will go out. Like that. But what you'll see is he they won't what he will do now is go straight all the way back to the end station. He won't stop at the return station because this is seen as a loop. Now, again, he can't turn around, but what we can do is, oops, no, we had him. Right, right. what I'm going to do is actually send him back to the depot, because I think he's just got completely confused. And then what we'll do is well, get a new tram, advantage of having infinite money. Now, so that didn't work. Now, just uh, clear all the route. So I don't get confused. Now, next thing I want to show you is if I come up here, here, and here. Now, the logical thing is to do this. Like that. Now, if we release the tram now. Oops. And we just follow him. So he's going to stop at this station. And what we're at now, if you see here, it says station two. Now, if you come back and watch this, he ignores this station. But he will stop at this station. So what's actually happening, if I pause the game, I don't think I can get this any bigger. If you can look at the list, the game can't handle having two stations in sequence. And so effectively what, it, what it's doing is ignoring the second sequence. Now, there's two solutions to this. One is to put in the where is it? in station. If we put an in station in there, like that, just build that. that and then if we where's the where are, where are you and if we come to here and then that is a new stop between if I let that run and what you'll see is he will come in go down and if he's go up and stop again what you should do is go up into the end station then because it, there's a station in between what will happen is he will should stop at this station and go all the way around but of course there's a potential delay here and you, what you can see he doesn't need the return loop he will now pull in here and stop now there's also another solution as well we get rid of which is cheaper because Bear in mind that if you're going to build end stations all over the place, that's going to cost money, especially if you're building manually, because uh, where's the depots? An end station, just see if we 
you can see it needs um gravel 10 tons i mean it's not a massive amount but it's still 15,000 rubles but what you can do and in and in some ways this is something that if you're planning a complex system this might be more appropriate and what we'll do is we'll just let the game run so the tram can get the honors i'll just take this out here and then we find the well I'll just put a drop a small one in there like that let the game run again I'll just find this what you see this is now gone back to two if we add you in the center uh, I think it's a bit misleading. Let me just see if I can just rename this so it's a bit clearer. Um, what do you turn around? The game's actually put in a, a click sound when you type now. Uh, I can understand why the devs have done it, but I think it's going to start annoying me quite considerably. Anyway, we're going to now let the tram run out. So, so the tram's now got to this stop. What he will do is go round the loop. You stop at this and then what you, what you should do is stop at this on the return journey because he's done a stop in between so in some ways this becomes a drop off and pick up point and then he comes back in again like that so so the probably the best way to imagine this is that if you've got buildings in this area and you want a, a tram system to come through you just need to have but incorporate the turnaround loop into your system in some ways I've, uh, this part of me wishes that the Devs actually gave us a one-way road, but that might be something for the future. So that is probably the biggest issue when you're planning routes or turnarounds and you and you want to loop back on yourself. So that's out the other way. The only other thing I want to show you is some possible implications of... Uh, where is it? can't find it. Um, let's just find, see if I can find it. This is the tram to railroad construction. So if we put a, a link in here, just let, the, just let the tram run up and backwards and forwards. So we're just going to hook that to there. And what we'll do in the other end is put in another section here. Like this. You could just use ordinary track to do the connection I can find it and what we're going to do here and then we'll put a section of track tram track up here and what you see there oh I've built the wrong track sorry I was about to say that doesn't look right of course you're going to need overhead tracks build what you see now is that if you run a tram onto track which you can do i mean we can put a station up here uh, where is it whoops back keep forgetting we can there's nothing to stop us doing that of course it won't turn around um what you're going to need to do is power these sections through so while this may sound attractive it may not be as good as you think it is because what you'd have to do is put in the actual trainator thing of course what you'd have to do is break this if this is if this is an isolated piece of track which technically it would be because you wouldn't want your trams running on your mainline tracks and there's no speed gain because the this track is 150 kilometers an hour but your maximum speed for your trams is actually uh 80 max at the moment i mean I suppose there's a possibility someone will put together a high speed track. so if we come oops and then what we'll do is we'll just actually did that let me just test something i just had a little flash there so if you the power will run through the track from the here 
That's interesting. Curious. So you can pick the power up from the track itself. That's interesting. I mean, it will power your... What's up with you? It's almost like there is no power connection. This, is, this train's got a problem. Let me just reconnect the power again and just see what happens. Ah, oh, so that's actually misleading, isn't it? Because that's saying that this is powered, but it wasn't powered. That is something that... Let me just try something then. We're just going to put a very quick... The connect... Um, where's the depots? End station. Just cut that there. And what we'll do is just pick up the tram here. Um, oops. Of course, this, we're going to need to turn around at each end. Ah. Not much of a route, apologies, but I wasn't expecting this to be doing this. I'm just curious to see whether there's power in this end piece. Because I've broken the connection here and I check yet so he's happy to run along here no the game can deceive you if you actually play around with trains that's good to know so what you'd have to do is have a, a power side on that side as well I, I know it's not it's no route but we're only testing the power at the moment this is where I'm gonna leave it hope you enjoyed the video hope you found it interesting any opinions, observations, feel free to chuck it in the comments. Also, if you found any other potential problems with the tram network, um, again, put it in the comments. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.